Good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. It is like 5.30 in the morning. I am practically still asleep, but we're going to Disney. Me and Zane are going with our friend Joel. Joel is like our go-to person to do Disney with because he loves Disney so much. Um, but we're gonna have so much fun. I'm not really doing like a ton of makeup today, but I do just want to look a little, a little more put together for my own sanity. So I'm just gonna throw on some brows and I figured we could just chit chat while I get ready this morning. We are gonna start at Animal Kingdom and I'm very excited. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Animal Kingdom. I think last time I went was maybe September or October. It's been a little while and I'm very, very pumped. I wanna do the Avatar stuff if the lines allow it. <laughs> um, I love the dinosaur ride, it's just hilarious. I love like when people, especially kids, go on it for the first time because you really think you're gonna die on that ride. Like all hell is breaking loose, it's hilarious. Um, I saw somebody on like some, I don't know, some Disney group that popped up on Facebook. I don't even follow any Disney groups on Facebook, but Facebook likes to just shove those things at you anyways from random groups. Um, and one of them was a, a drink that sounded really yummy. It's like some kind of sour something or other. I don't think it's alcoholic. I think it was just like a, a fun drink. Um, so I kind of want to try that because their complaint was that it was too sour and I'm like, say no more. <laughs> Nothing is ever sour enough for me. So I kind of want to try that. We also might park hop today. We are just going to kind of play it by ear. We're getting there right at opening, which is why we're up so early. Uh, Animal Kingdom opens at 730 today, which I think is so random. And then early entry is at seven, but we're not early entry. Uh, but it's like almost a two hour drive for us. So we are going to hit the road between 5.30 and 5.45. What time is it right now? 5.34, so right on time. I'm just gonna shove some food in my belly in the car. We'll be ready to rock and roll, but we might park off to Epcot. I would not be mad if we do that because the Flower and Garden Festival just started. And I love the Flower and Garden. It's my favorite of the festivals because there's still so much food like Food and Wine has, but there's also the cute topiaries everywhere and all the floral arrangements. It's just so fun. So I will not be mad if we swing by there. I was already looking at the menu of all the different food for the festival. And there are so many cool options, especially for like vegan and vegetarian. And I am very excited. I'm so glad that just like year after year, there seems to be more options for vegan and vegetarian. It makes me so happy. So yeah, that's kind of the, the plan today. Just a random Tuesday. I'm hoping that because it's a Tuesday, the park won't be as crowded, but we are creeping up on spring break territory. Our particular passes have blackout dates like the last week of March. So I'm hoping that we're not the busiest time. Hoping the busiest time is later, but it'll be fun no matter what, even if we just go for vibes and food. <laughs> I've ridden all the rides before a thousand times. So if we don't ride everything, it's never the end of the world. Um, but we're just gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna have fun. It's gonna be a grand time. I just want the tiniest, tiniest bloop of concealer. Like literally just enough to feel a little more awake. And then this weekend, we're also going back to Disney. <laughs> we don't usually do back-to-back -back trips in the same week unless we were like staying on property or something, obviously. Um, it just sort of worked out that way, but we're going with my mom and one of my little brothers to Magic Kingdom. And I think we're going like all day on Saturday because they don't get to go very often. I don't think my mom's been since she was a kid. So that'll be a really fun, just like open to close, experiencing that with people who don't go off. Because as much as I'm excited to go today with Joel, who goes all the time, um, it's so fun going with people who don't go very often and kind of experiencing that magic secondhand. My brother's been once, it was years ago, and it was for the Christmas event with me and Zane, but he's never been for like, just like a, a regular Magic Kingdom day. So it's gonna be so fun. I cannot wait. I just, I love, I love the theme parks. I love Disney. I love all of it. I'm just gonna finish putting myself together over these next couple of minutes. I'm just gonna add maybe a little bit of highlighter and mascara and then call it a day. Um, grab a lip oil to go. I'll bring one of the new milk makeup ones. Maybe the green one. I mean, it's clear, but because it looks green, <laughs> it kind of matches my vibe today. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at the parks.
This is supposedly sour. We're gonna find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out. It's not sour in the slightest, but it is tasty. I knew it wouldn't be sour for us. But it's yummy. That's good. Oh yeah, I love the pear. We basically speed ran Animal Kingdom today. Yeah. Joel's here too. <laughs> it's only 10 o'clock and we did Dinosaur, we did Everest, we did Flight of Passage, we did the Safari. We're skipping Navi River Journey today just because we don't want to wait. And we are all itching to go to Epcot for Flower and Garden because there's so many good snacks. I'm itching. <laughs> I just get so tickled by all the topiaries and the flowers, and it's just adorable. It's a lot of fun. It's Flower it's and Garden is the at. best festival of all the festivals. Wouldn't oh. you agree? Oh, yes. <laughs> you don't even know what you're agreeing you to. Just agree. yes, Flower and Garden is the best festival. Oh, you do hear oh. me. <laughs> I agree. It's like we're in tune with each other. We're heading to France for some <laughs> yummy treats. They have the goat cheese croissant that I had last year at the we Flower and Garden. But I'm obsessed with Zane wasn't here with me when I went last time. Well, last time to Flower and Garden. So yeah. you didn't get to enjoy it. And Joel said there's a really yummy drink that tastes like a creamsicle. And I'm in my creamsicle era. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be great. The goat cheese croissant is heaven on earth. It's so good. Mm. Joel got a beignet. Yay. I don't know how it is yet. <laughs> Let's have a taste. Pressure's on. It's got That's the, the creme brulee topping. It's like a phenomenal donut. Oh, yum. Yeah. Got the impossible Jamaican beef patty. There's one I get at the store, a Jamaican beef patty that I love. So I'm hoping this one is good. Pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. You had to think about it. I was confused that it's like just a big chunk. That's an interesting texture. I thought it would be like brown. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. It looks, it looks more like a black bean patty inside of like a Jamaican patty almost. Not bad. Got the Giants Lucky Slushies. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I should have used the straw. Did you get all booze? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's quite yummy. All right, we got the mascarpone cheesecake. It's literally so good. I can't get a bite of it because it's really cold. <laughs> it's so good. All right, we did the thing. We're heading back to the car. Or is it closed? We thought we were gonna do more today. We were gonna do the Ratatouille ride, but as we approached it, it was shut down <laughs> so that's great we took a tram and now i'm back um yep. but we were also gonna do guardians because we always do guardians but then after ratatouille was broken and we've already eaten so many foods we were kind of over it it was hours until our guardians reservation so we're done we did the it, thing it's like 85 degrees outside yeah it's, it's getting pretty hot, hot. <laughs> we're all getting a little miserable <laughs> but i think we had a really productive disney day yeah, i would we say did. we did so many of the things two parks and we're gonna get home at such a reasonable hour, because it's only like two o'clock right now. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's that's today at Disney. We did it. Yay. Hello, happy Wednesday. I just got done filming. I just filmed a little reel with new alter ego palette that I'm not sure I'm obsessed with. The Dream Gaze, I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Pastel. I just feel like it's kind of lackluster. I don't know. I just wasn't obsessed with using it. I like felt bored as I was doing my makeup today, which is not usually how I feel. Um, but I filmed that and I filmed a little chatty video chatting about like, if I had to declutter one palette from each brand, what would it be? Um, that was fun and heart wrenching. <laughs> that video should be up by the time this vlog goes up, but if it's not, it's coming soon. Um, so now I have a big pile of palettes I need to clean up. Just kind of wanted to pop on and say hi. Um, I finished Magnolia Parks this morning. I started reading the Magnolia Parks series like two days ago and I finished it this morning and I honestly loved it. I know it's a very like divided book series because 
I mean, I don't know about Daisy Hates because I haven't gotten her book yet. I'll be starting that as soon as it's available on Libby. Um, but with Magnolia and BJ and her book, um, their relationship is very toxic. Like, it's not a romance book to like romanticize. But I went into it knowing their relationship is super toxic. So for me, it was really, really fun reading the story, just like getting to know them as characters and like why they are the way they are and how they interact. And they're like rich people in London. So it was just a fascinating story. And I loved it for like what it is. Is it a romance book? I don't see it as a romance book, no. But I just thought it was a fun, interesting story just about these characters and all the drama. It was it was so easy to read. I really liked the writing style. I gobbled it up. So yeah, that's what I did this morning before I got to filming. I woke up really early this morning, so I had a little bit of time. So I just spent some time for myself. And now I filmed and I go to the salon soon. So that's my day today. And Love is Blind reunion is tonight. I think at like 9 p.m. though, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I'm gonna double check that right now. Might have to watch it tomorrow. I go to bed early. I like to be at least like in bed getting settled by nine and I want to be asleep by 10. Like I do not like to stay up late and really I'd like to be asleep when it's still in the nines, ideally. Okay, yeah, 9 p.m. EST. Might end up watching that tomorrow. Might just watch it tomorrow then instead of today because I might be too sleepy, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have a burst of energy, but either way, I'm excited. It was such a messy season <laughs> and I just need to see where everybody's at. I cannot wait. Um, I also can't wait to go back to Flower and Garden Festival. We had so much good food yesterday and there's still so many things that I want to try that I didn't get a chance to try. They had so many good plant-based options this year and I'm obsessed with it. The mascarpone cheesecake, obviously that wasn't plant-based, but because um, I'm not vegan, I'm just vegetarian, but the mascarpone cheesecake was a top favorite. The goat cheese croissant was a top favorite. The impossible Jamaican beef patty was fine. It wasn't bad, but I wasn't like obsessed with it. We got this like um, impossible meatball wrap thing that I showed. That was okay. Wasn't my favorite. That was probably my least favorite. And then at one point, Joel got the potato pancake and Zane got like a, a cheese thing with berries on it that I showed. Um, I didn't try that one because I was just so full at that point and I was saving some room for the mascarpone cheesecake. Both of them liked theirs as well. Um, but so far everything's been pretty good, but there's a few things that I want to go back and try. They have like a biscuit with impossible chicken and impossible gravy. And I'm like, I need to have that. That sounds so good. And I know there's like a impossible buffalo chicken tender poutine or something like that. It's like a, an interesting combination, um, but that sounded really good. I feel like there was at least one or two other things. There was a strawberry shortcake that sounded amazing, but I just literally could not fit any more food in my belly. By the time we were done yesterday, we just had so much and it was so yummy. I just love Flower and Garden, but we'll have to go back for sure. I think it lasts until like the end of May, so I will definitely have a chance, but not until probably at least mid to end of April. But yeah, uh, Disney again on Saturday. <laughs> I'm already just like psyching myself up for it because we are doing a full day. I'm pretty sure we are doing open to close. I think I mentioned um, my, my mom hasn't been since she was like a teenager and Jacob's only been once. And I mean, they're only going the one time. They don't have passes like we do. So we're going to like make the most of it. And I'm very excited. I'm excited to just show them some of my favorite things. And I'm excited to see the progress on Tiana's Bayou Adventure ride. It's not ready yet, but I'm excited just to see the progress of it. Because last time I went, it was just a huge construction zone. Like there wasn't anything happening yet. Um, so it's going to be so fun. I feel like I don't go to Magic Kingdom enough. Epcot's definitely my go-to and then probably Hollywood and Animal. I don't know why. I feel like I only go to Magic Kingdom when it's like an event, like the Halloween event or something. I never go just to go, but I'm excited. I think it's going to be so fun, but I'm going to clean up my mess of palettes here and I'm going to finish getting ready so I can head off to the salon soon. It's going to be a good day. I also wanted to share my next book pick. It's before the coffee gets cold. Um, I have the dust jacket over here. I just cannot read hardbacks with the jacket on, but I'm really excited to start this one. I was actually going to start it a few days ago, but then Magnolia Parks was available on Libby. So priorities took place. This is here anytime. Libby, I had to jump on it because it was available. Um, so I'm starting this one today too, and I'm very excited. I've been wanting to read this one for a hot minute. Hello, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Today is a YouTube work day. <laughs> I did some editing. Well, I did do a little bit of reading this morning, as you saw, just a little bit. I just wanted to finish before the coffee gets cold. So I read most of it yesterday, actually. It was a really fast read. Like I think my total reading time was probably two hours. 
it was just like a cozy little read. It wasn't anything that I'm obsessed with, but I enjoyed it. And I'm sure I'll read the other ones at some point as well. Um, and then I started, what's it even called? I don't even remember what it's called. The Abby Jimenez book. I don't even know. Life's too short. That's what it's called. Um, I'm only like 40 pages in. I just read like a couple chapters, but um, so far so good. I really enjoy Abby Jimenez. So I have high hopes, of course and I did some editing, I got some filming done, I filmed a little spring get ready with me, and I filmed my spring makeup favorites, so lots of fun videos. These should all already be up by the time this video goes up, so go check those out if you haven't already, if you need some springtime vibes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to pop on. We did end up watching the Love is Blind reunion last night, and I saw someone online this morning make a joke um, calling it Love is Blind the Audacity <laughs> instead of the reunion, and honestly, yeah. The way some of those people were so unhinged, um, it was crazy. I loved it. It was amazing. And I love how so many of the old couples were back on the show. And also side note, I'm so ready for Perfect Match season two because Perfect Match season one last February was so good. It was just trash reality TV and I loved it. And I like Perfect Match because it brings like all these old contestants from all these different shows. And it's just so exciting seeing how they interact together. I just, I, I'm such a sucker for bad reality TV. I love it. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I'm at. I'm going to clean up this mess and then do some more editing. And I think I'm going to stream The Sims in a little bit, which obviously that'll have already happened by the time this vlog goes up. Feel free to subscribe to me and Zane's Twitch. It'll be in my description box if you want to get notified when we're streaming. We aim for, for sure, one of us once a week. <laughs> Ideally, we would each do it once a week, potentially more, but it just depends on the week. You know how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Very exciting stuff over here. Um, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour goes on Disney Plus tonight at like 9 p.m. I will probably be asleep. I stayed up way too late last night watching the Love is Blind reunion. I might uh, let her lull me to sleep tonight at least, and that's very exciting. <laughs> so tired. I was successful at going to bed early last night, but it's now 5 a.m. exactly. I woke up 10 minutes ago. I am so sleepy. Oh my goodness. And I'm not doing anything crazy. I just want to look slightly more alive than I currently do. So I'm just going to throw on some brows and mascara and maybe the tiniest dot of concealer again and just call it a day. I'm very excited though, despite me not being awake. I think it's gonna be super fun. I have my strategy and my game plan in place. My mom should literally be leaving like any second now and heading to me. So we'll be on the road by 5.30 and we'll get there early so that we can actually like park and get to the park itself before it opens, hopefully. And that's the plan. We're gonna have so much fun. And I cannot wait. It's gonna Obviously I'll be vlogging like throughout the day and showing off Magic Kingdom and stuff, but I'm also gonna be hanging out with my family. So it's gonna be a little bit of a balance. At this moment in time, I still haven't finished watching or re-watching, I suppose, the Eras tour on Disney Plus. <laughs> so I just have not had enough time. Yeah, I made it through like red version on Thursday nights because it came out at 9 p.m. my time. I was not staying up till 12.30. And then last night, I didn't even get to start watching until like almost eight, and I did not want to stay up past nine. I made it through Folklore and 1989 yesterday. So, <laughs> I will save the secret songs of Midnight for, I guess, probably tomorrow. I just love it so much. I know so many of you know I went to the actual Eras tour when she was in Florida last April and it was such an amazing experience. Even being in the nosebleeds, it was just perfection. Um, and then of course I saw it when the movie was in theaters and now it's on Disney Plus and I'm so happy. So if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. There's something about just doing brows that makes everything a lot better. Like I was having weird dreams last night right before I woke up. And I swear in my dream, Vampire from Olivia Rodrigo was playing on like the radio <laughs> in my dream. So now it's stuck in my head heavily. Oh, I finished um, 
Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez last night. I know I haven't really talked about it much, but I showed myself putting my old book away and grabbing my new book, and that was the new book. I finished it um, yesterday, so that was great too. I really, really enjoyed it. That Friend Zone series, it was like three interconnected standalones by her. First one was my least favorite. Characters took a bit for me to even enjoy them. Loved the second one. The second one was amazing. And the first one really sets up for the second one. Like you could read them out of order if you wanted to, but I mean, I don't recommend it because the events of them happen chronologically. Uh, they're just different perspectives of different characters. And the second one, I feel like it's very important to read the first one first because you're really getting a lot of Sloane, the main character of the second book's backstory in the first one and what affects her <laughs> leading into the second one. Lots of tragedy. It's so sad, but it was so, so good. And then the third one is the most like out of left field. Like the characters aren't as connected to the characters in one and two. It's like a, he's like cousins to the guy in the first book. So they like meet up one time, but it's not like a, as urgent of a thing, but obviously it takes place after the other books as well. Um, but this one was really cute too. I really enjoyed their relationship. I liked their kind of lived across the hall next to each other to friends, to lovers. It was really, really sweet. Lots of sensitive topics in it too though, like uh, dealing with ALS and just the sense of mortality. Um, but it was overall a really, really good book. I really enjoyed it. I liked their banter and I liked the way they interacted with each other. I think the second one is still my favorite out of those three, um, but the third is by far the second best. The first one doesn't even hold a candle to the other two. And then my next book I'm starting is uh, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I've been wanting to start this series for a long time. I have the first two books already and I'm very excited. I've read the first two chapters. And as I was reading it, I was like, Zane, because he was on his phone <laughs> next to me, I was like, can you Google what genre this is supposed to be? Because I thought it was just purely fantasy, but I'm getting a little bit of like a dystopian vibe and it is literally a YA dystopian fantasy romance. So <laughs> hit the nail on the head with that one. Don't have many impressions yet so far, but it reads easy. I'm in interested in seeing where it goes. I feel like that's the, the biggest positive with YA especially like YA fantasy or YA dystopian, is you get this, uh, I don't know, this ease with it. Like it's really easy to digest. And I hear a lot of people say it's like one of their favorite series of all time. So I'm very intrigued by it. It's a lot of hype. Gotta go Fenty, how many carrots diamond bomb today? Just feeling the sheer sparkle. I might even dust some on my lids just for some extra sparklage. I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and I'll see you at the park. We're at Disney. Yeah. We're at Disney. No, we're not. This is Universal. This is not Universal. This is Universal. <laughs>
You're so adorable. <laughs> Hi! You're so cute. <laughs> How'd you do? <laughs> Better than that guy. Riding Pirates for the second time. It smells good. I could live here. It smells so good. We're honestly having such a successful Disney day. It's been going so smooth. Yeah. It's been great. Sweet one. Mm, look at the boy. Look how handsome you are. Do you even know how handsome you are? Oh my gosh, you are just nothing but fluff. Let me hang out right here. That's perfect. We had such a fun and successful day yesterday. Like, I vlogged as much as I could, and I think I mentioned that we were just getting so much done. Um, the lightning line definitely helped us, but even the standby lines, I feel like, were not that bad yesterday. They were pretty, like, average or even below average the park itself i didn't even really notice starting to get like regular disney busy until like noon so we spent the first few hours just completely i mean not completely alone but it felt like it there was like hardly anyone in the park and even when it got like busy it wasn't like really any busier than your average disney day um the longest we waited for anything was when we did snow white because we didn't have lightning lane for that um and it was supposed to be an hour but it was only 35 minutes so we had a pretty darn good day Yummy snacks, fun rides. My mom and brother had a really great time. Um, I think we left right after the fireworks show, which was at 8.30, it ended around 8.45. So we got to the car probably by nine because we got to park really close to the park, which was nice. Um, so we had a full like 13 hours of Disney. <laughs> we were exhausted when we got home, but it was, it was nice to be home like by 11. And we were able to just shower and go to sleep. And today's been just kind of chilling and errand running. We grocery shopped, I cleaned a little bit, got some stuff done, you know. Just simple stuff, right, Absol? We went to PetSmart and got you a new toy, right? Got them a new scratcher. I'll try to remember to show you later. It's really cute. Just like a little camper. It's adorable. We also, I don't know if you remember from, I think it was last spring, uh, we got like a cat stroller and we were taking some of the cats like strolling around the block while well, we took Wanda on a ride this morning for the first time. We took her in the stroller just like around the block and she loved it. Um, she keeps like climbing in the stroller now. So I think she like genuinely loves it. So we're gonna have to do that more. I'll show you next time we do it because it's just so fun. She's so into the whole experience. It's so adorable. Um, but yeah, I kind of got done the things I needed to do. We have laundry going, stuff like that. 
Um, I'm just gonna read. Like I mentioned, I started uh, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So I want to get some reading done with that because I'd only gotten to, yeah, the first two chapters the other day and I didn't read it all yesterday just because we were gone all day. So I want to just take some time, hang out, read my book and just do some relaxing. I feel like I, I need it after a nonstop Disney day yesterday. I don't even know how many steps I walked yesterday, but it had to have been at least a million. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hang out here with Absol. We're gonna read our book. It's gonna be super good. Excuse me, can I have one shrimp, please? Can I have this fish taco? You want the fish taco? <laughs> Elin, do you like that new RV? It's so cute, just like you. Absol, you look so handsome on this walk. You look so super cute. Wanda loves the stroller most of all. She's so stinking sweet. She loves it so much. She's obsessed with it, it's so cute. Hello, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Um, it's a beautiful day today, probably one of our last crispy days until next winter in Florida. It was like 40 when I woke up. I think it's only like 50 right now. It's so nice. I'm enjoying every second of it. Anytime I have the opportunity to wear a sweater, I take it because it's just my favorite thing. Um, but I've just been doing some YouTube work. I filmed a couple reels. I did some editing. I still have a little bit more editing to do, but I'm taking a little break because we are going to the bookstore. We are finally getting a Barnes and Noble in town. I'm so incredibly excited. The grand opening was today, about an hour ago, actually. I didn't go for the actual ribbon cutting just because I was trying to get some work done. Um, but I did want to stop by. I have a gift card that I got gifted for Christmas, so I, I want to use it. My book buying ban is basically over anyways. I wanted to be on a book buying ban for all books aside from the Throne of Glass series until April, and I've pretty much accomplished that. I mean, March is, I mean, it's only half over. My main reason for that being I wanted to read the books on my shelf, and I have really put a huge dent in it. Like, I think I have less than 20 books left on my shelf. I started with over 40. I've been using the Libby app more and it's just been really good. I feel like I have a good balance. So I just wanna buy a few books with my gift card. Um, I'm still not gonna go crazy buying books right now or anything. This is just kind of a little mini exception celebrating Barnes & Noble opening, <laughs> using my gift card and getting a couple things that I wanted. I feel like at least for the next few months, anytime I do book shop, whether it's just because I feel like it or because I'm traveling and want to stop by like a local bookstore. I want to only buy books that are either very anticipated releases for this year that I'm excited about or continuations of series that have started but I haven't finished yet. I don't want to just like willy nilly pick up books that I'm like, oh, that looks good. I want to try to stick to things that I like genuinely have on my list that I'm like, I really want to get to this. It's not gonna be like a hard and fast rule necessarily, but that, that's my general parameter. So that's my goal for today. There's definitely some series I want to pick up and continue on. Like I could pick up something from the Dreamland Billionaire series. I've only read the first one, maybe more of the Shatter Me books, maybe something in the Twisted series because I've only read the first one. Um, I could pick up Allie Hazelwood's new book, Bride. I really might pick that one up. I did see in Target the other day that Happy Place was finally available as a paperback and I've been wanting that since last year. So I might snag that one because for me, that's also an anticipation release I've been anticipating it to get on paperback so I could start it so I have some things in mind that I might pick up but we'll just see what I get up to I'm just gonna do what the bookstore wants me to do <laughs> I'm gonna go based on vibes I'm very excited I peeked in the window of it the other day because the papers were taken down and I'm just so excited it looks so beautiful it's not like one of those ginormous ones it's one of the ones that's like in a plaza but it still looks really really nice and I'm so incredibly excited so we're gonna do some book shopping I'll film as much as I can I have no idea how busy it'll be it's a Wednesday morning so I don't think it'll be as slammed as like a weekend but it is the grand opening, so I'm sure it'll be fairly busy. So I'll film what I can, and then we'll do a little haul when I get back. I'm back! That was so fun! It was a little busy, understandably so. Um, but I, I got some clips. I feel like it's beautifully laid out. I 
was so excited. It was honestly really hard to stick to the stipulations I gave myself because I kept eyeing books that I'd like never seen before but looked super cool or like ones that I like loosely had on my brain but I wasn't like dying to read it right now but they had like special editions of. It was so hard. Like I easily could have bought like a hundred books. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I laid out some rules for myself to keep myself grounded a little bit. We also had a little deal going on where uh, if you're a premium member, you get a free hot or iced um, coffee or tea. And I already had a coffee this morning, so I opted for a tea. I went with a sweetened passion iced tea. It's really good. Mmm. Very fruity, very light. Um, and it's like unlocking a memory. I haven't had this flavor in years, but I think I used to get the passion iced tea lemonades all the time. It's like unlocking a memory of like when I worked at my first salon in the mall like forever ago. It's really tasty. But I did some damage. <laughs> I got some bucks and I'm really excited to share them with you. I did do good, like I said, I stuck to my parameters. I only bought things that are continuations of series that I've started and I did get two releases that I was super anticipating. So um, a lot of these are things that I mentioned actually. <laughs> so let's just roll through them. Continuing on the series, I got the second one from Anna Huang in the Twisted series. This is Twisted Games, um, book two of four. I'm very excited. I really liked the first one, like more than I thought I was going to. So definitely wanted to continue this series. I got the second one in the Dreamland Billionaire series. This is Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher. I also really want to finish this series because I'm dying to read, um, oh, what's it called? It's like a purple book. Let me look it up. The curtain is like blowing at me because I have the window open. <laughs> Can you like go back to your assigned seat, please? Okay. But it's uh, this one right here this purple one, um, Love Redesigned. I've heard it's really good, so I wanna read that at some point. So that's like prompting me to wanna finish the series because I haven't read the first one since I think last summer. Um, and I really liked it. It's kind of like a play on Disney World. It's like these three guys are heirs to their grandfather who just passed away, who owned uh, Dreamland, which is basically Disney. It's in Florida and it's like a magical, like fairy tale theme. Um, but I only read the first one, so I'm excited to get to the second one. This is through the second brother's perspective, Declan. We have Declan and Iris. I like the dual POV. Cool, I'm excited. I think Twisted Games is dual point of view too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have Reese and Bridget. Okay, sounds good. I picked up the third and final book of The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, this is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. I loved the first one. I finally got around to reading the second one earlier this month actually, and I also loved that one. Like both of those have been five star reads for me. So definitely wanted to continue on with the third one. I was kind of nervous to even read the second one because I'd heard some people say hit or miss things um, and that the first one was the best. And I do agree that the first one is the best so far, um, but I loved the second one. Like I don't know where the hate's coming from. So I'm personally really excited to dive into the third one. This is gonna be really, really good. The last uh, continuation of a series I picked up is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I read the first one sometime last year. It's been a hot minute um, and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to continue the series, but this is Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi. Um, yeah, this is the second one out of like a thousand. <laughs> There's so many books. And then I picked up two anticipated releases. Uh, first being The Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is kind of her venture into something a little more fantasy. It's like a werewolf, vampire bride kind of thing. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm curious for sure. I've read one of her other books. Actually, I take that back. I, I did read one of her STEM, like women in STEM romances. It was okay. I wasn't obsessed with it, not enough to go read the other ones, but I did recently listen to the audiobook Check and Mate by her, the YA romance, and I actually really enjoyed listening to that one. So we'll see how I feel about this one. I do want to get this Barnes & Noble exclusive edition sticker off of here though. I don't know what's exclusive about it. it. It looks like the exact same cover. I don't know if there's like a bonus chapter or something in here. I guess I will find out. And last but certainly not least is I did pick up Happy Place in the paperback. Finally, I'm so excited to finally have this. I'm so excited to read it. I've heard such great things about this book and I'm just so ready. I really like her other books. Um, People We Meet on Vacation is definitely my favorite. Beach Read would be my second favorite. Book Lovers is my third favorite, but I mean, I still liked Book Lovers as well. Um, so I'm excited to get into this one. There we have it. That's my little book haul. I'm very excited to be adding these additions to my shelf. In the next vlog, I'll be doing my TBR for April, but I have successfully at this point managed to finish all the books that I put on my TBR for March, excluding one. I started reading A Marvelous Light 
by someone I can't remember, um, but I don't know what it was. I think I need to try again later. Um, I got like maybe 50 to 60 pages in and I was just like not retaining anything that was being said in those words, like in the pages. I, I, I feel like I could not remember anything. Even right now, like I could not tell you a single thing from the beginning part of that book. I feel like my brain just couldn't retain it for some reason. So I don't wanna like DNF it and call it quits. So I just put it back on the shelf and I was like, maybe I'll try again in a couple months. Maybe it just wasn't jiving with me right now. But um, I managed to finish all the things that I wanted to finish that were on my physical TBR, including reading uh, a couple eBooks. I just started Daisy Hates last night because it became available on Libby. So I'll be chucking through some more books over these next couple weeks. I'm so excited that we have a Barnes and Noble now. It's so good, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I think we've done enough things. We did a lot of Disney, did some book things. I'm gonna go just finish editing this current vlog. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some Disney related emojis. I feel like that's the most fitting. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. You can also subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. If you want, you can also join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.